Hi, and welcome to Midspace. If you're organizing an event at XE 2022, this video will briefly explain the main event mode called video chat mode that you're being encouraged to use uh, in the Midspace platform. To start with, I'm gonna go ahead and create an example event. You can do this using the import template and the import documentation we have provided. So you can import all of these events rather than having to create them manually. I'm going to go ahead and put it into the main track room. Select the paper or session that I want it to be associated with. If I was doing this as a session, I would select an exhibition uh, along with the session's content. I'm choosing not to record this and we will have a end of event participation survey as well. Okay, now that I've gone ahead and created that, I'm gonna just refresh the page to pick up the new schedule. And I can now go into the live event. During the live event, we have the video chat, which I'll join in a moment. And then below that, we have the actual demo event itself. Uh, so the demo event shows the content. If this was an exhibition, it would show the two column layout of the exhibition, just like a normal exhibition page. So an exhibition page looks a bit like this with a two column layout with the abstracts, images or videos shown. So likewise, in a session, you can have your papers shown in that layout down below in the order they're going to be presented. We can unmute and that gives us a little audio preview as well, uh, or we can start camera. Hello. We can then join the room and participate in the recording. Attendees will just see the recording view uh, along with a browse all participants where if there were more people in here, you can scroll through the full list uh, of people. These video chat rooms support up to 250 attendees. So if you are expecting uh, a registration of 500 people, uh, video chat mode will be fine. We typically see attendance at keynotes of 50% and main sessions between 10 and 30% with 20% being pretty average. Um, so these video chat rooms will support most of the co-located events, workshops and main sessions at ICSI. Uh, with some of the uh, larger events being in live streaming mode. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn my video off. You can see in here we have the preview of the recording and the not included in the recording. That's where most of the participants are and you as the organizers uh, or as the chair of the session can control the layout uh, of the recording area, which by default is in best fit mode. In best fit mode, it will place speakers and the screen share into the recording. Uh, but you can override that using the layout if you like. So if you want to do a picture in picture and then put a screen share behind, you can do so if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and put that back into best fit layout. You can control recording. You can also play back videos that have been uploaded into the system and everyone views those at once. And that includes captions. And there's also our floating emoji feature. On the right hand side, you have a resizable chat area where you can post messages, questions, and polls. I'm not gonna demonstrate a poll right now, but you have a large number of configurable options uh, for the poll, uh, including revealing results live or keeping them secret. There's the chat list where people can direct message each other or find other chats that they participated in and the who's here list where they can see uh, who else is on the page. The share screen, a mic and unmute controls are down in the bottom left corner. So that's largely a video chat event. People, everyone joins into the video chat. It's automatically recorded if you want it to be. Uh, and when the event comes to an end, the recording will stop automatically, but you can, everyone stays in the same video chat in the same room and can keep chatting. So this uh, view continues and you can do whatever you like. Um, so you, if, if you want to keep a conversation running, even after the event ends, you can do so. Um, if you want to restart the recording to take an, a kind of overrun recording, you can do so using the start recording button. 
as I said earlier, attendees see uh, just the, the view with their kind of camera and microphone controls. Uh, you as the chair can mute or hide people uh, if you need to. Um, and then as a chair of an event, you get these extra controls for layout, participants and recording. Thank you for watching.